truly amazing That spirit of Christmas I'm awake before anybody else. Does anybody else love that song? It's very, very early this morning. But I just thought that I would get up before everybody else and do a little bit of knitting. So everybody is, is still sleeping, but I was kind of laying in bed and my stomach was hurting a little bit. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get up, relax, uh, do a little bit of knitting. And I picked up my Arnie and Carlos socks and um, I was I knit a little bit on these yesterday because I was thinking... I desperately need to finish them. You know, they're my Christmas socks. I wanted to wear them in the month of December, so not even having having one finished probably isn't the best idea. On yesterday's Vlogmas, uh, Henriette Linkshänderin, which by the way, I am a Linkshänderin as well, um, said that I should watch the movie Aschenbrödel. So that's what I'm doing. I'm knitting on my socks and watching Aschenbrödel. So I've, I've never seen of it. I've never heard about it. Um, but she said it's a really, really lovely Christmassy movie. And for Germans, a lot of the Märchen or fairy tales are kind of their Christmas movies. So during Christmas time, they mostly have... Um, a lot of the Brothers Grimm movies, especially on on TV, or they're watching, you know, the films that they own that are are Mission, and um, they're not with they're not cartoon versions. They're always versions that are acted out, and that's just their their Christmas movies. So they don't even necessarily have to have a huge Christmas theme. It's just at Christmas time, Mashin are watched. And Robert's dad is a huge Mashin fan. He has very, very, very old, oh my goodness, I don't even know, from 1800s, um, Mashin books that are handwritten even, um, copies. Making some scrambled eggs for Ruby. Elodie is eating some muesli with milk. She doesn't like scrambled eggs at all. She doesn't like eggs at all. <laughs> but Ruby loves them. So this definitely needs to be filmed. I just got a package in the mail that I have been waiting for forever and I cannot wait to open it. So I'm so excited. So I don't even think I told you guys, but I ordered um, the advent calendar from Legacy Knits and it finally arrived. German mail is just... So ridiculous. Sue, Chelsea, you guys are the most amazing. Yeah! So it definitely couldn't be any more beautiful. I'm a little bit terrified to see ones that I shouldn't see yet. So I'm gonna quick pull out the numbers. Today is the 12th. So let's, let's show you guys each one. 
So if you haven't received your Legacy Knits advent calendar, I'm totally sure you have, but this is what has arrived. So here is number one, this really pretty Stellina skein. Number two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Love this one. Very, very subtle. I love all of these. Eight. These are a lot more warm toned than they're showing up. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with these yet, but I can't wait. They are so pretty. I can definitely see maybe 10 grams going into my uh, granny stripe blanket and then maybe the rest going into my crochet blanket. I could also see using one for a fun um, ornament because in January, January through December, Amber of Makers Haven and I are doing a, um, a year of ornaments sort of knit along. So I'm really, really excited about that. It would be perfect to kind of use these for that. It would be, because there will be 24, it would be a lot of fun to do two um, each month and it would definitely be doable. So I love these. I'm so happy that they arrived. Another package arrived and I honestly have no idea what it is. It's come from Oregon. So let's see. Now that I'm thinking about it, it could be, um, one of the wishes that I wished for when, when we were granting and, and doing wishes. So it's funny that they should both come out the same day. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Thank you very much, Renee. You wrapped this beautifully. So it is one of my yarn wishes. I'm so excited to see what she put on here. Ah, look at the cute little tissue paper. It's crazy touches like this that make packages so special. They're beautiful. My wish was to have a skein of House of All Mode, and she sent me a Christmas colorway. So this is her dreamy DK four ply. And like I said, it's in her tinsel colorway. So 250 yards. It's really pretty. 100% superwash merino and then she surprised me with the skein of Republic of wool, which is really really pretty too. This is the colorway wild at heart So pretty and then she sent me Some special chocolates those look pretty spiffy there will be so many fun Harry Potter yarns in the shop um, this week. Pygmy Puff will be one that I haven't dyed up for ages. It's one of the first colorways ever um, from a homespun house. And then there will be a lot of Xenophilius Explains the Deathly Hallows. I've dyed it up on quite a few bases. This right here is the old Bakken base, but now I'm calling it Merino Cashmere. And of course, after all this time, and Xenophilius explains the Deathly Hallows and after all this time come with their coordinating charms. Can I just tell you guys how obsessed I am with this new colorway, which I'm calling Family Secrets. I haven't kept a skein of yarn for myself in so long, but this is definitely a skein I'm keeping. I just updated the shop. Lots of fun stuff in there. 
there will be so much yarn in the shop in the next couple of days. I am trying to dye my booty off. Um, and I've been having so much fun. I've been dyeing up so many different colorways, so many different one of a kinds. Like I said, I don't know why I'm not writing names down or formulas of yarn down lately. I am just dyeing and then looking at them when they're dry and thinking, I need to duplicate that again. How do I do it? But yes, I dyed so much yarn today. I think I dyed about 80 skeins of yarn. So I'm really, really, really excited. The night is very, very much so calming down. <sighs> Robert is bringing Ruby to bed. I'm making a nice cup of tea. Enrudy is already asleep and Ruby seems to be taking a little bit longer than normal, but um, that's all right. Sometimes that just happens. So I am about to relax, um, do a little bit of knitting, and um, I think Robert and I are going to play a card game and then um, maybe watch um, a TV show. We'll maybe watch Transparent or Alf. I don't know, we'll decide when he gets out of the bedroom with Ruby. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye.